Hello and welcome to the Knit Girls with a special guest. This is episode 622. I'm Laura, also known as Lala. And I'm Jude, also known as Jude. And <laughs> <laughs> Stranded Dye Works. Yes, I'm Stranded Dye Works. I am Leslie, also known as You Don't Call Me Les. They are much happier than I am because they didn't have to work today. And this is true. That is very and true. We had naps, and Leslie has not had a nap. Yeah, so. I'm grumpy. It is not a reflection of my company. It is a reflection of the very, very long day I've had. It. So, um, Leslie and I use the he sh or the she her Do you? pronouns. Do you yes, hate coming out. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> and I was getting ahead of myself because Jude uses the he him pronouns. There you go. I thought you were uh, oh. dropping a, a bombshell on I know, show, right? Goodness me. Would Definitely you wouldn't get you fired. <laughs> oh, yay. Um, so yeah, we have done SSK for the year, and Jude flies home tomorrow, and we figured we would try to get him in an episode before he leaves. See, we all have an SSK hangover, but here we are. Yep, for sure. SSK, yes, and Jude is going to enjoy a week of silence. Maybe two weeks. Maybe do I, I talk more at SSK than I do in like a month normally. I live alone. I work alone. Quite He's had to hang out with me and Pearl. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. So it's been very fun. I have enjoyed it a lot. But uh, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of socialising. Gwen worked out that if you talk to everybody at SSK one on one for five minutes, it's 13 hours of talking. Wow, that's a lot is, of people. Which is quite a lot of talking. I mean, everybody talks, just not to everybody. This is sorry if you can hear whining. My husband, who assured me that he would watch the dogs <laughs> while we recorded less than 10 minutes ago, <laughs> already, that that has gone by the wayside. So, <laughs> they are at the door. <laughs> what are you working on, Laura? I am working on several things. So, one of the things that I took to SSK is my Woolens and Nosh advent from 2022. I really want to get it done, and I knew that seeing Michelle of Woolens and Nash would encourage me to do that. So I am almost to the heel, and it is very pretty. The first one looks like something that is not in this bag. I don't. Oh, it's on my lap. Oh my goodness. See SSK hangover. Um, so it's like this, it's got a garter stitch heel that I use out of confident knitting and in the contrast color that came with this skein and I am right there. So hopefully these will get worked on and finished in the next week or so. Um, I go back to school on Tuesday, so I will have lots of knitting time and no matter how much other stuff I bring to SSK, I should learn that I can only work on self striping socks in the round. <laughs> the other thing that I worked on, they got a little messed up, but it's fixed now, is um, a sweater by Tannis of uh, Tannis Fiber Arts, and that is the Floodlight Tee. Um, I did not get gauge with this yarn. This yarn is Oink Pigments. I could have gone down to twos and probably got engaged, but I did not want to knit a fingering weight sweater on twos again. So it has a yoke top. Here, I can move over to you. Yeah, I just, it was too far on my, on me. <laughs> um, it has a yoke at the top and I have just done the arm divides and now I just go round and round and round. I'm using some gorgeous linen silk yarn from Oink Pigments. Um, it is called Coven, that's the base, and this is the fingering weight version. There's also a sport weight version, and it is Pig's Tacos Doom is the colorway. So it's grays with little flecks of a bright blue, uh, like a teal maybe, turquoise? Turquoise. Yeah. And um, I actually had to buy bamboo Addies because it was a little bit too slick for my metal needle. So I'm just going to go round and round on that until it is done. So yeah, I'm almost through. This is what I have left of the first ball. So I'm making good progress on that for sure. And that is, I think, all that I have on the needles. I swatched for a cardigan by Tian. 
and got to sit in Tian's um, cardigan class and did all the like, because of course I didn't get gauge for that other. And she walked me through how to do all the math and make adjustments. So that was amazing. Her class was great. Oh, and I have a sock that I cast on to watch Barbie. Because we went and saw Barbie. Yes, we did. So I have um, some Knit Spin Farms. I cannot find the tag. One of her sock clubs from recent. It's really pretty. That I knit on. Size 1 needles. I'm doing a toe up sock with gusset heel flap. I love Wendy Knits. Um, it's also the same heel that's used in my socks on a plane pattern. And I'm just going for it. So those are the three active things I have on the needles currently. I have two things I'm working on. I uh, cast on this sock. I borrowed some needles from Laura to cast on this sock, which uh, from Yana picked up at SSK. This is Woolens and Nosh in the day hiking colorway, which was their show colorway last, last year, right? Last year, yeah. And uh, Sarah was working on this while uh, we were doing SSK stuff when it was really pretty. So I'm gonna get a skein of that. And this is the, oh my goodness, I'm gonna say Corydale base. Could be, or it's, Targi. It's not Targi, okay. it's the other it's one. Okay, it's probably Corydale. So, uh, it's really nice. And yeah, cast it on for Barbie. And did a fair amount, um, which is, you know, considering I was very busy, like enjoying being in a reclining seat and eating like <laughs> fancy <laughs> buttered popcorn, which, you know, and a pretzel. And a pretzel, because when in America, just eat all of the snacks going, and it was, uh, yeah. So that is that. It's not very fancy, just a toe-up sock. I had to look up um, the Judy's Magic cast on, because it's been such a long time since I've done it, I couldn't remember how to do it, so I had to watch a YouTube video. Because I'm not a real knitter anymore, it's, it turns out. <laughs> I don't know that that's the... I feel uh, like it is. <laughs> that, that's the qualification. <laughs> that's the one qualification yep. of being a knitter. Is not a genius <laughs> magic cast on. Okay. And I'm also working on a sweater. This is the Lighthouse Keeper Pullover by Lindsay Fowler from her book Salt and Timber. Um, it's for me. And it is made out of Knit Picks Wool of the Andes tweed in the Wreath Heather colorway and Knit Picks Aloft, which is their mohair, um, in the Labyrinth colorway. And I can take zero credit for these colors because something she does with the book that I really like, and I'm a huge fan of the book, um, most patterns on it out of, there's a high end yarn option, um, and I'm not sure what that is in the it's like a creamy one that looks very pretty but I can't wear cream things because it would be like grey and stained within about five minutes of me making it because you're also pretty pale so and yeah I'm very pasty light colors are uh, <laughs> but the kids version uh, was knit out of this exact yarn color and oh. combination and I was like I really it's like cute. that yeah and I want it for me so uh, yeah I before I left the UK, I had done I thought I folded over neckband, and that was it. So I've done everything else in the two weeks that I've been progress. here. Which, considering I have barely knit anything like the last four months, I'm taking as a win. So just I mean, when you're here, you can't really work. Can't do any actual work. We forced you to watch things like Taskmaster. There you go. I couldn't do any DIY. I mean, I said I couldn't do any DIY projects. I did change your front door lock for you. You did. So uh, that's that's as far as I've got with DIY. Which I cannot get into with my fingerprint. <laughs> well, you seem can. to be the only person who can get in with like the first try. So uh, there we go. I'm just going to break in when you least expect yep. it. I cannot wait for that. Pearl will be so happy. Just creep in. <laughs> oh my goodness. She would welcome you. <laughs> with open paws. Yep. Flop over all the belly rubs. Perfect. That's what I need. That's the sort of welcome <laughs> I need. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, that is all that I am working on at the moment. I finished some things though, so there we go. You'll be the only one. Oh, well. I think it's been three weeks since we podcasted and I have finished nothing. Anyone would think you were busy or something in the last few weeks. <laughs> um, so I cast on also for Barbie. <clears throat> I had done maybe two rows of the ribbing and 
than the rest of it I did during Barbie, which was probably a mistake. I should probably get through the rookie next time. <laughs> because I spent a lot of time manually like counting because it was so dark I couldn't see anything. I was about to praise your skills to be able to like rip really easily in the dark. So this um I think I got to like this second pink stripe down here. I just picked it back up when we started recording. Um this is Woolens and Nosh in her show colorway for this year. We all did Woolens and Nosh. Which um yeah I grabbed the first sport weight that I could find out of my bucket of SSK stash. I'm going to try again to knit through my stat, my what I bought this year. I might join you on that. Um, well, yours will be significantly easier yeah, than I also knit a lot less than you do. <laughs> this is true. Um, and I brought this up. I don't remember. I think I was talking to um, Carol. So we went to see the movie with a friend of ours from Knit Night and her daughter and her daughter's friend and um during the movie these two were just like cackling and, like, <laughs> we enjoyed it and it was entertaining don't get me wrong it was funny but like the things that make me kind of smile make them like cackle out loud and just sitting here with them like they're so happy and everything makes them happy and i just don't feel things that deeply and it Makes me kind of sad. Like, I just want to give you a couple. I mean, it's just me, right? But like, I don't, I don't know. It makes me wonder what else I'm not feeling that other people are feeling. So if you're broken like me, you're not alone. More <laughs> or less. I love you. I love you too. Comedies usually comedies don't make me. I find them like traditional comedies very like they're never things that make me laugh. I have. I mean, very... this was very smart. Like, it yeah, was, it's not. I have no interest in Barbie. I don't remember ever playing with Barbies. I'm sure I did. Um, I don't have like an affinity for bright colors typically, but it was a smart sort of self-effacing movie and yeah. had lots of great folks in it. Um, I think it was sort of made for people our age yeah, rather than definitely. Yes. for kids. Definitely. Um, but yeah, so this is a show colorway from Mullins and Nosh. It has expletives in the name, so I'll spare you your delicate ears. Um, it's based on Ted Lasso. Yeah, I never uh, watched that. Okay. So. No, I haven't seen it either. Oh, so good. So the other thing that I cast on, also with SSK Yarn, this mm -hmm. is by Annie Claire. It's the Bahal shawl. It's just a big stockinette crescent shawl with alternating sections of stockinette and then like double yarn over drop Ooh. stitches. It's nothing super fancy, but it, it like lets the yarn kind of be the star. Oh, look at you. So, um, I bought, pre-ordered, well not pre-ordered, I ordered at the SSK market enough Suburban Stitcher to do this shawl, but I then I went back in and on my last walkthrough I bought enough Yowza to do it as well. This is in their show colorway. I think it's sequins and sparkles or sparkles yes, and sequins one like two. So it's mostly sort of a creamy base with like, it's kind of cupcake-y. Like yeah. that's sort of what it looks yeah. like. Like rainbow cupcakes. Rainbow sprinkle cupcakes. And um, I tried a different um, cast on, an alternative to the garter tab cast on. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I might tack it down afterwards. We'll see. But um, yeah. What was the name of the cast on? Do you remember? I don't. It was from 10 rows a day dot com. But yeah, I mean, it's it's nothing super fancy. I haven't even gotten to the first section of drop stitches. I've got ways, loads of ways to go. And I'm all, instead of doing a garter stitch edging, I'm doing an eye cord edging, but it's making it not super stretchy. So I don't know, I might rip it out because I'm only like this far into it. Yeah. So I might rip it out and do a garter stitch edging. We'll see. Because this makes it very like pointy. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a fan of that. I'm so, going to rip it out now, but get further along. Um, I just cast it on yesterday, so it's not. Um, and also, I was. it recommends a size 6. I started on a 7. It was way too dense on a 7, and so I went up to an 8 about an inch ago. So I might just start over. Um, it's a very cute bag it's living in. And this is living in yes. one of the two bags I got from Amy Beth at SSK. It's Naked Lady Mushroom. <laughs> Pushes. 
I dig it a lot. It's very cool. And he both has forced it on you. Great sense of no, you forced no, the radishes. I did. Or the carrot ones. That was small effect, so I didn't put that in there. That's basically it. I started a single square for that blanket I've been working on. The Pathways blanket. Didn't even finish it at SSK. I just I feel like you've made a few of those though this since because you were making some while we were hanging yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, day. since yeah. we recorded, I yeah. have knit some, but not, like, Laura got quite a bit done, done during SSK, and I did not. Um, but there were a lot of, like, I, I run out of spoons a lot faster. Um, Laura's an extrovert, no matter what she says, and I'm much more of an introvert, and so I run out of spoons faster, so I end up just sort of staring into space. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of that since we got back. You could sleep there. underneath the table like one of us. <laughs> that is not a thing oh, that I would Glenn. do. Oh, <sighs> um, But I have no finished objects and no spinning. I have finished objects and no spinning, but Jude has spinning. So let me do my so. finished objects mm -hmm. first. And these have been finished pre-SSK. Um, so before SSK, I finished my socks. These are um, String Theory Color Works. They were the Science of Wine ones. So they are finally done. I finished those at a doctor's appointment right before SSK. Hopefully my last doctor's appointment for a while. Fingers crossed. Yeah. A checkbook crossed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so those are done. I even wove in the ends today. And then I also finished my rib lace raglan. I've never seen this on you. Okay. Like usually you send a picture on this time, but I don't remember seeing one. Um, I don't know that I. I'm trying. To, there's one side that has like a very glaring, obvious error, but I don't know which side that is at this point. It's not and it's that fine. glaring. It's fine. Just um, I had made a mistake and dropped the lace down. It's on the side towards me. Um, and in the fixing, it was not quite right. But yeah. Super cute. It is too warm to put things on. I can put it on. Uh, I did it cropped on purpose, but I did go to eight inches on the underarm. Um, the plan is to wear it over um, dresses to work. It's cute. Yep. So when I have my dresses, I will wear it over that. So I did add two inches, and because I added the two inches of length, I did have to break into a third skein of, um, oh, I love this yarn so much. This is um, Loop Yin Yang. Um, people at SSK said that it was not appearing on the screen as pretty as it is in person. And it's the fingering version, Yep, right? it's the fingering version. Um, it's more washed out on screen than it is. Yeah, in it's like a robin's egg blue with a cute little, like, orange accent. So it'll be really nice. Yeah, I think you lose like the orange bits a little bit on the yeah. screen. Um, but it'll be super nice to wear to work. Yeah, and I'll put the arrows in the back so I won't be able to see them. Yes. And the kids can see them from the back, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. You guess. I'm not super worried. It wasn't mm -hmm. enough. It was way up here and it wasn't enough to make me want to rip back the whole thing. That's it cool. is a pattern I like to knit again maybe out of hands fun but um i have lots of joy of stuff that i purchased at ssk that i want to knit first so i'm gonna move on after the floodlight to a tn cardigan and then after that um what i have a couple need? things what yarn for the yep cardigan. it's noro oh cool. it's a noro cotton oh that's cool are you gonna knit your ssk stuff I mean, not to the degree that you are, but yes, yeah, so I will knit some. I will try to pull from the SSK stash first. How about that? It's your stash. I'm I just know. curious. Um, <coughs> <coughs> there's lots of pretty stuff that I got, and there's lots of um, spinning that I need to do for apply in the next month, so that's going to get priority probably, and it's secret, so y'all won't see a whole lot of it. So we're going back to that part where Leslie carries the show <laughs> um, with all her crafting. But I will have, um, I only have two days of before children days next week. Okay. I have 
Tuesday and Wednesday, and then the kids come Thursday. So I will, I'm sure, have lots and lots of meetings that Tuesday and Wednesday. And you can knit through those. And I can knit during those, yep. Oh, that's good. Um, my boss actually was an assistant principal in my building before she was my boss and then went to be a principal in a different building. And before she left the first time, she told me that she saw me knit in a countywide office meeting once and she was like, who is that weirdo that's knitting in a meeting? <laughs> um, and then she's like, then I realized you actually were paying attention. So she knows that I pay attention when I knit. I pay a lot more attention to things if my hands are busy. Otherwise, yes. I'm like, when will this be over? Because yes. I'm just wasting so much of my life. And I'm not like pulling out my phone and playing mm -hmm. on the internet like some of my coworkers. So seriously, there's that. Sounded very self-righteous, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't actually care what other people do in meetings. <laughs> like yeah. you do, you do. Yeah. As long as you do your job, I am staying in this lane this year. Like I am minding the business that pays me, and I like to tell people that knitting keeps me off my phone. Mm -hmm. But I still spend time on my phone. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, we're not better than anybody else. We yeah. just. Uh, I don't know. We're better multitasking sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. you have finished things, and you even have spinning. I do. Jude has tons of finished things. I, yeah. I, well, no, that's, I've got two. I mean, it things. helps that Jude hasn't been on our show for... I mean, if I put all of the things like that I finished years? in those years, <laughs> in those yeah, years. it's probably about five years. Did we do one when we were in Edinburgh with Oh, you? yeah, we did. Yeah, okay. we did one. Yeah. I mean, no. I've probably made a handful of things since then. It's not like you've had life things going on, friend. Seriously. Um, this is adorable. I have made a little flax sweater by Tin Can Knits. This is the worsted weight flax. Uh, I make a lot of these for like friends who are pregnant and stuff because there's always babies. And, uh, and I really like this pattern. It's a free pattern. It's great. Tin Can Knits are brilliant. They do loads and loads of different sizes. Um, and this was made out of my merino cotton base. Oh, which is so good. <laughs> it's like my favorite. I have a sweaters lot. I have two sweaters lots actually. You do, yeah. And plans to knit those as well. Yes. So this is Stranded Dye Works Merino Cotton, which is a fingering weight. It is 87% superwash merino and 13% pima cotton. And I feel like it's my job to get as many people to like test out this base as possible because I really like it. And everybody who has used it or felt it really likes it as well. So I feel like, but it's one of those things that you kind of want to squish in person. So it makes it harder to buy online. But um, you've been sending little mini samples I have. Out. Yeah, I've been winding like 10 gram mini samples and sending them out with orders and stuff because why not? Um, I held two strands together because I could have just made the fingering weight version, but it would have taken longer. <sighs> Your life is short. Had you even cast this on? Babies grow fast. They do. And this is the two to four year old size for my nephew, who will be two in November. So Leslie asked if you had cast that on before you were up. I did. I, but I would, I'd only done like the neck ribbing and I was still on the raglan increases. I hadn't done much at all. And okay. Jude doesn't listen to me. I don't listen. <laughs> I don't listen to anyone. You fit right in here. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> was this easy. I was just so, get, I was getting to it, okay? She is sure. Like, you didn't bully me. <laughs> I won't come back. <laughs> I had to do my bullying things today and I will tell you that bullying is repeated in systemic behavior that Involves a power strip, like hierarchy. Yeah, I, I do have no power. I feel like I feel like Laura is the one with all the power here. I don't know. I don't know if that's just because you're taller and louder. I'm uh, the only I'm extrovert. Down with my cat. That's about it. Leslie's cat Gus is like my favorite. Don't tell not my cat. Um, he's he's a amazing. Big fat boy. He's His favorite thing right now is chasing around the new dog. I mean, and making him yelp. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I feel like the person with all the power in this house is Gus. Yes. Gus has all of the power. Oh my goodness. Gus is like Garfield personified, I feel like. He's very much like Fred, who we lost last year, so. Aww. Apparently my cat at my house is doomed to be ruled by big fat boy cats. I mean. Could be worse. Yeah. Could 
be worse. Um, so yeah, little sweater, finished it this afternoon. So cute. Hasn't been blocked or anything because I'll do it when I get home if I can be bothered. Um, yeah, so I've got loads of yarn left over. I thought I'd need three skeins. Um, it's more like two. Yeah, I could have easily got away without using the second one. So I'm just gonna use, I will probably wind the leftovers up into more samples and send them out with future orders. So when do you, you see your Matthew? Early? This is a very good question. They're move they so they live like a solid seven hours away from me, yeah. uh, but they're moving even further away. They're moving to Devon, which is like almost at the bottom of the country of England. There's a lovely little bit that sticks out below it, but uh, yeah, they're me so I don't know. But I'll post it because yeah. otherwise he'll probably be in like school before. <laughs> Time goes quickly. It does, especially with kids. Seriously, uh, I finished another thing. Speaking yes, of time going quickly, so good. this cowl has been on my needles for at least two and a half years. I feel like it was on your needles when we were in Edinburgh. No, you're thinking of the one that I was the first one I made. Oh, I made okay. when I came out. It was very similar colours, and I made it when I came out for spring break that time. Okay. Uh, this is the third one of these cowls I have made. Um, I cast it on during lockdown. I made a really bright, cheerful one. Um, during lockdown in like two weeks and I was like oh brilliant I'm gonna make loads of these and give them away as Christmas presents cast on this one and then probably got bored and you know really just finished it now um, this is the litmus cowl which is a pattern I use the word design very loosely loosely uh, that I designed um, it's just a tubular cowl knit in the round grafted together so you don't have to weave in any of your ends you can just knot them and then they're all on the inside which is useful if you're lazy like me um, it is a free pattern, uh, it's currently only available on Ravelry, but I am in the process of knitting another one, not in the process of knitting another one, I'm in the process of dyeing yarn to make another one, uh, and then I'm going to rewrite the pattern with new photographs, and I'm going to put it up on my website, so it is coming. Yay! But it's a double wrap cowl, it's very like, you know, it's not rocket science, but it's cute. It's cute. It's going to go in my gift basket. I made it out of Canon hand dyes, um, like Merino Yak silk mini skeins. Did you get those at Rhinebeck? I bought the first set at Rhinebeck for the first cowl and then I really liked them so I ordered more okay. online. Um, and Jude's going to be at Rhinebeck this year. I am, yeah. It's been five years since I was there and I'm trying to see if I can knit through some more of my Rhinebeck sash between now and then. <laughs> it's a fun game of where's Jude. We could get you a little Waldo hat. That yeah. would make it too easy. We could. Or I could oh. wear a disguise and oh. people could see if they could track me down. That's not a challenge, people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't accost anyone who looks like a scarecrow and has glasses and make it to me. Oh. Um, we are all about the positive talk tonight. Yeah. I will tell you that. I like scarecrows. You know, I have nothing against scarecrows. It's just like my, you know, my style is very scare. I also, I really, really need a haircut. And every time I see myself, which isn't very often, I think, oh yeah, you really need a haircut, dude. Um, the the Mississippi humidity just makes my hair bigger and bigger and bigger. So. Higher yeah. the hair, the closer to God. That's what they say here. I mean, this is true. I don't know how God will feel about me being close to him, but uh, we shall see. Um, so the Canon hand dyes is in the Wallflowers colorway, um, like a set of minis. I pulled out a couple of minis, I think, to make it the gradient kind of work in the round for the cowl. And the contrasting like, grayish color is just some merino yak silk that I dyed, like I over dyed with a pale gray just to make it, I don't know, even more grey and boring than it was before, I don't know. I really like it, it's going to go in my gift box, um, and I'll give it to somebody probably for Christmas at some point, so that's that. So I spun some stuff and then gave it away at SSK, but Jude also spun at my house. I saw it. Oh, get very excited, right? You see Laura spinning all the time, and this 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 spinning makes Laura's look like amateur. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So this is from a bat you made, right? It is. So I was in charge of uh, the drum card room at, in the Try It On room, no, the tasting room at mm -hmm. SSK. Not quite sure what my qualifications were for being you in charge. You existed. 
anything. Apparently, that's all I need. <laughs> that's the sort of job I need. And would keep people from killing themselves. Yes, yeah, no one died, and people made bats. So what there more you can you ask for? Uh, so I made a little bat, and uh, but it was like about ten minutes before the room was supposed to close, and Laura came in and hurried me at the end. Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh, you can't rush creative genius, Laura. <laughs> um, so it was just a kind of creamy the 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 thought behind the creative. Uh, brief behind this bat was cream with a tiny little flecks of bright colours. Uh, there probably isn't enough flecks of bright colours, I don't know. Where? It's enough for a few seconds or not? I mean, there are some in there, and there's also a tiny bit of sparkle. But I haven't really yes. spun in four years. And uh, I sat down at uh, Laura's Ladybug yesterday, and I was like, I'm just going to spin this, because I saw so many people spinning at SSK, and was like, well, spinning is quite relaxing. And it's quite meditative, so I thought I'd, you know, try and, uh, also, uh, there was one thing, let's take out smaller and let more compact as yarn than it is as a bat. Uh, so I just spun some singles and then immediately chain plied it. Normally I leave stuff on the bobbin to just kind of make it look set and, you know. Sure. Yeah, but there was nothing. I could have, even if I'd left it there for sort of six months, it would not have improved it. So <laughs> oh, I was like, well, I'll just chain ply it straight away. So it's, you know, it's. It makes it easier to chain ply if you let it sit a little bit because the, I mean, the twist gets to rest. But you I haven't mean, it finished it. So, yeah. No, it hasn't. It hasn't because I was like, well, I don't know if it will dry with the humidity. ridiculous humidity. Um, I'll just do it when I get home. Uh, it'll just be like a little baby hat. I'm gonna make a garter stitch ear flap hat from Pearl Soho out of it. And uh, yeah, it'll just go in the gift bin. I have no idea how many yards, if, if, if there even is enough yards for one of those hats. Uh, you can always stripe them. Yeah. But yeah, I just wound it off. Um, yeah, but I am gonna do it's more spinning. It's Gonna do some more spinning. You should do more spinning. Spinning is amazing. Yeah, when I get home. Like I've got, you know, things that I should use. I love my match lists. Yeah. And uh, it needs a good clean. Yep, mine does too. And then I can actually use it. So I need to set up my office at home um, so that the wheel is not just tucked around the side of the sofa because it turns out that you use things more if you don't have to drag them out. Mm-hmm. Because there's, there's not like a set up time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say that's why my living room is the way it is. Sure. <laughs> I'd agree with that. Sounds I'd agree good. with that. I would agree. I mean, you do get a lot of spinning done. Yeah. Same. I try. Yeah. I have a lot of fiber that comes in every month, so <laughs> to keep from being buried alive. It's very inspirational being in your house. Well, thank like, you, friend. I everywhere I look, like yesterday, I was like, oh, that's really nice hand spun. It's just like a pile of it. <laughs> yeah. Just hanging out. It's yep. really nice. So uh, yeah, and that's everything I've been doing really. A lot. You carry the show. <sighs> we didn't carry the show. There you go. What would you do without me, huh? I mean, this month, not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Questions that have been asked many times. <sighs> um, I have been reading Diamond Fire by Alana Andrews. I've been listening to that. I listened to it in the car on my way to SSK. And then on the way home, I started re listening to Red white and royal blue because that is coming out as a prime tv show in a couple weeks and i wanted to re-listen to it jude and i watched a show called deadlock and we are obsessed we've watched it almost twice we watched it once all the way through and, and then sarah came watching. and we rewatched the first half um with her because we had to share the joy and if you saw us at ssk we probably told you about this yeah, show you probably i did. feel like laura should be working on commission for the uh i just want there to be a new season yeah. after all the writers strike and after a strike gets taken care of so um i am very much it was very enjoyable pro. i haven't really watched any tv for a long time and uh, we watched all of it in like 24 hours Laura tried to make me stay up to watch the whole thing. And she would or he wouldn't, excuse me. Like, um, so, yeah. Yep. He refused me. I, I'm, uh... Then I we guess. watched it the next morning. Yeah. It was good. It was very enjoyable. Uh, I... What have I... I read a lot of books on the plane on the way over. Uh, lots of, like, locked room style mysteries. Um, they all kind of blended into one because I'd been awake for, like, 24 hours. So, uh... 
and I, I wasn't really knitting on the plane, I can't sleep on planes, so I was just reading books. I can't remember what any of them are called off the top of my head, I think a couple were by an author called Claire McGowan that I quite enjoyed, um, but lots of like, kind of Agatha Christie and then there were none style, you know, someone's at a ski resort and then people start dying and you know, nice light-hearted books like that. And I also read a lot of uh, ridiculous romance novels because I balance out, you know, fluffy romance with, you know, violent death. They, they balance out quite nicely. I've also been re-listening to Red, White and Royal Blue because Laura mentioned that she was re-listening to it and uh, I am a follower. <laughs> So, <laughs> That'll get you through the plane right now. That's true, that's true. And I enjoy it, it's a good book. And I am sad that they have cut out some characters yeah. for the movie. And I am one of those people who is very bad. Uh, I'm very bad to watch adaptations with because I just sit and I'm like, well, that wasn't in the book. <laughs> And that wasn't that's not how that goes yeah and that's not how that happens and they've cut out a couple of characters and changed some things and i feel like and things that probably didn't need to be changed like mm. right so i'm and not some sure. major characters like his sister yeah who yeah. plays a huge role like, in the book june is amazing um so yeah i might wait maybe you can watch it and tell me okay. if it's good and then i'll watch it otherwise i'll just get irritated you have hard stopper to watch first i do watch the trailer for that today um, I'm going to renew my Netflix especially for that because there you go and otherwise I think that's all I've been watching and oh, apart from Barbie obviously which we went to see and, and the I've been watching the uh, Just Ken song on repeat <laughs> for, for a while we too. also made you watch um, Empire Records yes watched Empire which I've never I have in case you don't know this about me uh, I am I basically live in a cave I have zero cultural references because I you can ask me, have you seen it? And the answer will always be no. Mm -hmm. So, have Laura, you seen Barbie? I have, actually, yes. But Laura asked me yesterday if I'd seen The Princess Bride and nearly fell off her seat when I said I hadn't. Didn't know who Andre the Giant was. It wasn't like you hadn't seen Princess Bride. Didn't know who Andre the Giant was. I mean, to be fair, Andre the Giant has been dead for like 30 years. I'm so... Yeah. I am 32. Yeah. There you go. You're showing your age, Laura. I know. <laughs> I am old. I'm 10 years older than Jude. Yay. But yeah, we watched Empire Records and the first half of Clue. Yep. Uh, the probably the, the second that. half is going to remain a mystery to me. A bit like the second half of The Lion King, which I've also <laughs> never seen. So, uh, <laughs> the second half of Clue is probably the better half of Clue. But okay. yeah. yeah. We got interrupted by something. I don't know. Did Sarah arrive? Yeah, I think she did. It's all Sarah's fault. Thank you, Sarah. Um, yeah, that's all I've been watching i mean to be fair it's more than i've been doing Every, i have more content for your show than i've had for my own in like the last so three you years can't monetize this no <laughs> so uh oh, speaking of things you can monetize though you have a pre-order coming up on friday i do yeah um so i have a colorway called the stranded elf uh which laura's got a sweater quantity of and you might see her use at some point in the super excited not too distant future um it's like a turquoisey speckled colorway that I dyed on uh, to sort of honor my mum, if you didn't know. Uh, both of my parents are dead. I am now an orphan. Uh, <laughs> Morbid humor. This is not... Gallows humor. Now I can join Leslie in her dead mum jokes, which, true. you know, it's very exciting. Um, my mum was like an, an, uh, she was an employee of Stranded for a while, and she popped up on my YouTube channel quite a lot. So I dyed a colorway for her, and uh, I've sold it three times if you include the yarn I had at SSK and uh, it's gone really quickly all the time so I'm doing a pre-order for that and it goes into the shop on Friday the 28th of July at 7 p.m. British summer time which is 1 p.m. central time um, and it'll be up for a while so well, you're prepared with times and dates and everything. I need time zones because you lot live here and I always have numbers? to I have to know these things so I'm like oh numbers. is anyone going to be awake no it's like the middle of the night so and then usually I respond to and usually choice. Laura's awake because Laura <laughs> just sleeps at very odd hours so yeah especially in the summer the nocturnal in the summer um yes I am <laughs> I am so yeah I have to flip that back by Monday that'll be fun yeah, I'm not going to be here for that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of griping at Pearl about her getting Poor up Pearl. early. Pearl's had all these visitors, and then oh, everyone's she leaving, loves it. and yeah, she'll going be back sad. to work. She's going to be all sad. She needs uh, 
You need to get a puppy like Leslie's puppy to keep her busy. Nope, she would eat it. I'd come home and there'd be no puppy left. But Leslie's puppy is very cute. Yes. Uh, he is. I saw pictures of Leslie wearing him like a scarf earlier. That was unsolicited. <laughs> unsolicited <laughs> scarfing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm mean, i surprised Gus let him up there because Gus is usually... He was asleep. Oh, gotcha. He, he decides when it's worth his time yeah. to investigate the dog. <laughs> Amazing. What have you been listening to or reading or watching? Not much. I'm re-listening to the Hidden Legacy series. I'm on the one between Nevada and Catalina's series the, about the wedding. I yep, what that's called. what I'm listening to. Um, Diamond Fire. That's insane. I'm trying out a bunch of different books. There was a, I forget what it's called thing that apparently happens with Kindle a couple times a year where you can get a bunch of books for free. Yes, stuff your Kindle. There you go. So I downloaded a bunch of books. So far it's like a 75% fail rate. Same. Um, <laughs> it's like, why have I got all these books? They're terrible. <laughs> yeah. You can take them off your screen. I do. As yeah. I, yeah. As yeah. I decide I'm not going to finish them, I remove them from my device. Um, I don't remember what I'm on right now. Um... I started a new podcast episode of Maintenance Phase. Ooh, what's this one about? Um, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and anti-vaxxers. Mm. So Interesting. Yeah. I've but, heard a lot of people talk about this podcast. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's it amazing. I guess it's not for everybody. I've tried to get Laura to listen to an episode that involved her one of her favorite people, Angel Lansbury. And, and she I fell asleep. asleep. <laughs> oh, um, Laura. But I mean, that's pretty standard for me in the car, though. I fall asleep unless Leslie pokes me. I really, really love the show. Um, part of it is one of the hosts is a fat lady named Aubrey Gordon, um, who Amy Beth and I just gushed about at SSK. Uh, you know, Amy Beth already has a video up post-SSK. I texted her, and I'm like, are you like superhuman? Do you know? Amy is a wizard. I have always thought that. But it was about some of the stuff she bought and what she's going to do. With Aww, it, so. oh, cool. That's cute. Maybe we'll watch that when we after doing um, this. It's only like fifteen minutes. It's a Patreon thing. Yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, so SSK was great. It was um, exhausting but fulfilling at the same time. And hot. It was also wet. Very hot. We had to unload the truck, and it was very wet. Um, and then we made to unload the truck. Yep. But I did help her. Um, you did. We had some amazing donuts from Five Daughters. We planned a pool party and got rained out twice in a row. And it was like thunderstorms. Lightning. It was lightning yeah. and everything. Stormed out, whatever. Which is um, sad. Yeah, it is a bummer. We got to hang with a lot of our favorite people. I got to take good classes mm -hmm. with Tian and Jillian. People seem to really like the tasting and try it on rooms. Yeah. I oh. don't tend to go in there because it gets too crowded and I just, it triggers my fight or flight and I can't do it. Um, That's why we partner well together. What else? You did come and help me for a little bit in the drum card arena because I was like, how do you make roll eggs? Yeah, it wasn't super Not crowded at that for this. point in time. So. <laughs> And I got to hang out with James and Talia. Yeah, it was and, really you know, fun. And the other lady whose name I forget. Miriam. Okay. Got to hang out with Robert. Yes. Yeah, and Teresa. Mm -hmm. And he loads got, and loads of people. He got a purple crown because she'd been at SSK for 10 years. For all two people 10. who have been to all 10 SSKs. Yeah. Which is amazing because while, you know, it is our event and it is our baby, I can't imagine anyone being willing to come to Everest. Even my one. mom's not come to Everest. I mean, one. I'm a Lineman, zero stars. She would if she didn't go to, if Wheezy didn't drag her to Alaska <laughs> that summer. Yeah. And uh, Teresa wore her crown the whole time, yeah. which was amazing. Yeah, and we'll be able to talk more about it next week when when we're awake. I'm feeling more like a human being. I'm not yep. there yet. Um, our local knit night is tomorrow and there's no way I'm going to that. Um, I have your sweaters set aside for you. Okay. 
um, yeah, hopefully a bunch of people took home some of my sweaters from the try it on room. Yeah, I, I came back did. with a lot less than I went with. So that's, good. that's awesome. Sarah took home a lot of your sweaters. Sarah did. And take my mom home did too. Seven. Oh, yeah. did she? I think Mama Linderman had two. Laura had three. I had two. Oh, you had two. I thought you had three. Mm-hmm. At the linen cardigan. I, I don't remember, but okay. One of the tops. Yep. Um, but yeah, there were still like 20 by the time the bag got to SSK. So. And yep. some other people traded some stuff as well. So that oh, was yeah. Awesome. That's one of my favorite parts of SSK. We found a great shop in Nashville called Smart Art. Yeah. And we donated everything that was left on the Free to a Good Home table to Smart Art, which is like a. I guess there are places like this in a lot of the big cities, but. Lee was saying there's another place in Nashville that does a similar sort of thing. Okay. It used to be around the corner. It's like secondhand craft supplies. It's great. Um, so, you know, people donate things they don't use anymore. Like who doesn't have craft supplies from crafts that they've bought and thought, that's amazing, and then abandoned? Right. Yeah, so it was a really cool shop. Um, you got a, yeah, I got a needle machine. felting machine. It's like a sewing cool. machine, but it does felting, needle felting. Super we'll try cool. it out. Um, I expect a, a lifelike needle felted portrait of my I, face. Please. A mural. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, there's a lady who's doing like needle felted little mural squares. Mm-hmm. It's very it's cool. Amazing. People are very. Talented. Amanda Stutter in in Australia has done. She did the owl and yeah. she's doing oh, bird She's got some gorgeous amazing. portraits. Carrie does too. Joby. Carrie does too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. What about you guys? Not much. Mm-hmm. Jude leaves it. tomorrow. It makes me sad. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I will get it. Takes me. I don't know. I leave here at sometime in the afternoon, and I get home around lunch. Or I get back to Edinburgh around lunchtime on Thursday. So I should hopefully be in my house and in my bed and asleep before two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. And then you'll be woken up by not my cat. Who I uh, at the we door. went to Target yesterday, and I bought some like exotic American <laughs> snacks. <laughs> to bribe my way back into her good books. So we'll see if that works. Not my cat cut American cat treats. Yeah, they're called like, there's one called like meow maids that are like mermaids. And one called, I think they're called like pernicorns or pericorns. Like so these are really for Jude. I mean, but yeah, the, I mean, I'm not gonna eat them, but I am gonna use them. <laughs> but I mean like, my cat I'm around. guessing not my cat doesn't care what shape they're in. She could get a nest. She'd eat the packet, yeah. the plastic, if she could, you know. Aww. She's she's probably eaten all of my plants while I've been away because her new ploy to get her way into my house is to sit on my patio and chew on my plants. I mean, so it's I, effective, right? I mean, I let her in because she does less damage inside. So we'll see. I'm hoping my plants will still be alive when I get home. I looked at the temperature in Scotland yesterday and it was highs of 60, lows of 40. We need to visit Scotland in the summer. So, yeah. I mean, that's quite cold for Scotland. Like, it's not normally lows of 8 degrees, which is what it was uh, yesterday. But, uh... I'm here for this. I mean, I'm kind of ready for it, to be honest, because every time I go outside, my glasses steam up here. (laughs) And just (laughs) happens. Which is, you know... It's the thing, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm gonna miss you guys, and like I always say to people at SSK, it's not really the distance that bothers me because like texting is a thing, and like you know, FaceTime and mm-hmm. stuff. It's the time difference yeah. that's the thing because. I mean, Laura gets up really early for work, so around lunchtime, my time, Laura's usually awake. But then I like I'm asleep by like, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon your time. So yeah, I miss most of the SSK zooms for that reason. I'll be one last Thursday. You will be in the air, probably, or yeah. you might be home, but uh, yeah, probably... you will be unconscious. Yeah, you will not. There is no. Are you, do you do the SSK zooms all year? I do. do I do take a break in August. Day. I well, yes. Um, <laughs> and the people will switch when SSK switches over in like November. Of course. Um, yeah. But I you want you want to do you've committed to another year of SSK, right? Yes. Yes. yes, yes next yes. year. SSK eleven is happening. I'll block my um, summer off. But yeah, I take a couple weeks off and. <laughs> I'm, I'm, hey, I can, I've got fingerprint access into Laura's front. I mean, I'm, that is true. I mean, you may not let me into the event. I'll just sit outside in the parking lot. 
I like the fact that this door came with like pass keys too. So my parents are getting a pass key because they like to lock themselves out. Well, now that you're a white man, you can sit out there with a guitar and just play songs at us. And yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty songs. That's a Barbie reference. Mm. That my sister also said oh. play. She sent me a random text and it says I'm gonna play guitar at you. Earlier today. Did she I'm, see the movie? Yeah, she saw it Saturday. She enjoyed it immensely. Uh, I mean, yeah. I am hoping that someone is going to die an Alan self driving Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant die, like perish. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm hoping dark. someone's going to die, yes. Uh, well, Lindsay Knox said she would take care of that for I us. am very excited about that. I was going to say, you are a dyer. Yeah, but I don't die self driving It's too messy. I mean, you could. I could. But, there are a lot of wonderful self-stripers out there. We mm-hmm. had most of them in our event. <laughs> right? We did, because I can't say no to self-striping. There are so many good ones <laughs> Don't worry. I didn't really get a chance to look around the market too much. But, I mean, not that I really... For the first time ever, I am going back to the UK with less in my suitcase than I brought out here. Because I, I filled half my suitcase up with things for the free to a good home mm-hmm. table. Um... And now, and I bought, a f- I did some trades and I bought a few things at the market and at house, but, and also got some canning supplies that I had shipped to Laura. Yeah, that is true. We almost forgot to put them in his bag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be space in my bag. That's never happened. Or you might take a puppy with you. Uh, I'm taking Gus with me. You <laughs> just try Leslie on the way out. Okay. And I'm going to just like tuck him under I have my the shirt. keypad entrance to Leslie's house. You will too. regret that. <laughs> Oh, he's lovely, but he will be the boss of your house, and then not my cat will stop coming. That is true. I mean, not my cat is the boss of me. Like, I towel dry that cat when she's been out in the rain. <laughs> oh, and pick ticks off of her. All the time. I don't know where she goes, but she's covered in them. Ridiculous. She doesn't answer to you. You don't have possums to eat them, that's the problem. Like you that. need to import some. <laughs> Maybe I'll should I fill the gap in my suitcase with possums. <laughs> possums. Is that what you're trying to Baby say? Baby possums. Well, how do I announce that at customs? <laughs> I don't have any meat or fruit or seeds, but I have a suitcase full of possums. That's all you'd have by the time you got to... I've never even seen a possum. They are oh, hideous. Ugh. Poor possum. I mean, they serve their purpose, but they are hideous. I was saying to Laura when we left, because one of the things I like about America uh, in the summer is like the, how noisy it is outside. Mm, like the, all the, the cicadas. cicadas. And I was like, I've never seen a cicada, and Laura was telling me what cicadas were. And I think if I ever saw, if I ever stood under a tree and one you fell freaked out, on out me, over a flying bug yesterday. So I, I have like, a, I have an irrational phobia of bugs that fly at your face, like of moths and things that fly at your face. Like I'm usually alright if I'm outside, but like if a moth comes in, I freak out. So if a cicada fell out of a tree onto me, I think I'd have a heart attack and I would never go outside again. Yeah. So I'm going to, yeah. You didn't get to see lightning bugs this year. Yeah, I did not get to see any uh, glow worms, which makes me sad, as we call them in the UK. Oh. But, uh, yeah, I did not get to see any, which is sad. Now we're just blathering. Mm-hmm. This is true. Um, so we're very glad you visited. But I me. completely understand the need to go home and I be just in the like silence. my routine. And I need to go back to work. Yeah, I mean, money is important. Pay it sucks, bills. but it's important. This is true. And we did not win the lottery. Even yeah. Weezy didn't win. I know, right? It was from California. Okay, I will be by the tickets. Mm. Okay, well, you guys have a good week uh, slash weekend, and either watch our show or Jude Stranded Die Works show. If you want to see pretty much exactly what you've just seen <laughs> again, I will probably record a video at the weekend. Yeah. You might have a finished sweater by then. I mean, if what? you know it on the plane. Oh, I was likely. like, what sweater? Oh, God. But maybe. I mean, yes, maybe. Don't hold me to it, though, because I'll be tired. Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock. You guys have a lovely time. We'll see you again soon. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.